Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Nick. Let's continue our journeys. Episode 5. Is Kevin the wolf? I can't believe it. Until yesterday, I was having bad dreams with my werewolf. Now that I know it's Kevin, there's sexual nightmares. Look, don't exaggerate. First of all, Kevin is a hunk. Maybe for you he is. And secondly, you don't know if it's him. Of course it's him. Everything points to that. Listen. Kevin went to the party without telling anybody and was in a very bad mood. But the next day, he was really happy. As if something amazing had happened to him. I had a revelation, and I knew exactly what I had to do. Now I understand why he was so interested in the chocolates. Don't you think what you wrote about the chocolates is a bit too sweet? Anyways, I'm writing an article on the drinks. What did you guys have? Kevin knew what drink we'd had. He was just trying to confirm my suspicions. Well, maybe they're just a series of happy coincidences. Kevin being my werewolf is not exactly a happy coincidence. And don't forget the most important detail. He rented the costume. I hate it when you seem to be right and I can't prove you're not. Because you're not. I will confront him directly as soon as I get to like news. Are you crazy? Kevin has a girlfriend. He'll never admit to it. He's in crisis with Claire. Yet another sign. There's only one way to prove your theory. What way? You have to seduce Kevin and see how he reacts. I don't want to get Kevin's hopes up. I don't want to play with his feelings. You have a lot of faith in yourself, girl, but you're not the goddess of the office. Plus, you said it, he has a girlfriend. He won't be touched by your little attraction. I don't know, this could end up very badly. I might discover that very deep down, I do like Kevin. Maybe. Don't worry, you won't have to tempt him much to make him confess. If you break his heart, I can console him. What? Trust me, everything will come out fine. I will prove to you that I am, in fact, the goddess of the office. You don't have to prove anything to me, save your energy for him. How should I start? By your look, of course. Kevin actually is a handsome guy. If he is actually my werewolf, I need to stop bickering with him and try to... What? I just want some perfect options in your wardrobe. Shall we start? Let's start with the usual. You can't just wear your usual clothes. But I feel comfortable like this. Yeah, let's try something better. I feel like a goddess. Kevin will fall begging at your feet. Yeah, let's look at another option. It makes me feel really sexy. Red looks so good on you. It's definitely your color. I love this one. This is no doubt the one. Kevin will fall begging at your feet.
Katie, you... how should I say it? Just say it. Is something wrong, Kevin? I well, the truth is... I gotta go. All he needs to do is howl to confirm he is my werewolf. Maybe Gabriela and Lucy know something? Wow! You're on fire, girl! In red. Thank you! What are you up to? Nothing. I'm just in a good mood today. Share a little. Do you know if Kevin made up with Claire? I have no idea. I guess they're still in crisis. Who? Why do you ask? He seemed really down the other day. I'm worried about him. Are you sure it's just that? Of course! Strange, huh? Maybe Katie likes Kevin. No, that wouldn't make any sense. You're right. Okay, now is the time to confront him. But how? Let's seduce him. Yeah, why not? I think seducing him will be best. Hey, Gav. Gav? So I'm Gav now, huh? I wanted to ask you something. What costume did you wear to the party? Well, I was, uh, I spent all night at the bar. You're not answering my question, Gav. What's the matter? Why are you so nervous? Feeling a bit uncomfortable there? Oh, no, I mean... I went dressed up as an alcoholic, okay? I drank all night trying not to be seen by anyone. I don't believe you. Why are you interrogating me? I know you rented a werewolf costume. Tell me the truth. Did you do it to get close to me? I dress up as a werewolf for my nephew's birthday. My girlfriend went as a little red riding hood and then, well, you can imagine what happened. I don't need any more nightmares, thank you. It didn't bother you when you still thought I had sex with you. So, why did you get nervous when I tried to seduce you? I have a girlfriend, but I'm not made of stone, Katie. And you look prettier than ever today. Thank you! Kevin is definitely not my werewolf. I won't have to dream about him ever again, I hope. But will you keep searching? Yes, but now I don't know how to go on. You could just forget about it. Aren't you tired? Just say he turned up. Yeah, move on. Here is your chocolate. Careful, it's very hot. You were right. Those coincidences with Kevin were nothing more than that. My exact words were happy coincidences. I'm not in the mood for jokes, man. But this is good news, isn't it? Yeah. No. Yeah, relief actually. I had gotten used the idea that it might be him, but now I feel relief. Just imagining our kids together seems unbearable. I'm glad it's not him then, but then who? I have to find out who sent me those tickets and that chocolate. Try telling them you like new cars. You wish. Don't give up. Your werewolf might turn up with the next full moon. If he turns up. Did you hear already? Shut up, Kevin. Gabriella will kill you if you tell her. You're right. I'm sorry. What's going on? Gabriella has a surprise waiting for you. Is she find my werewolf? I have some incredible news for you. What is it? Tell me. You achieved something unique with your werewolf chronicles. Something nobody ever achieved before at like news. 
I hope it's not the biggest disgrace in history. You added 2 million new subscribers to our portal. That's amazing. 2 million? Me? You've won an amazing prize. A private office with my own bathroom, double bed, and mini bar. It's not that kind of prize, but you still love it. Do you want it? Of course, I want my prize. Of course I want it. When have I ever said no to a prize? First of all, you'll get an extra bonus at the end of the month. Good. That's going to last less than 4 days. Thank you! Also, you get paid trip to any destination you choose. That's where I'll spend my bonus and use up all my credit. That's great news, thank you so much. But the real surprise is this. You have an interview with Danny Richel right now. Danny Richel, the YouTuber, the influencer of the moment. I can't believe I'm about to interview him. No, you're not getting it. He's going to interview you. Tell me this is not a joke. It's not. He's waiting for you at the studio. I'm not going to keep him waiting. What you did was very interesting, Katie. You managed to rewrite Cinderella's story for the 21st century. Thanks, but it's not just my story anymore. It belongs to all readers too now. That's true. But there's more. It's not just about finding my werewolf. It's also about proving that some people are just destined to be together. I'm speechless to Katie. It was a pleasure to interview you. Thanks. Let me know if you see my werewolf anywhere. Of course I will. Did you want to add anything else? Yes. Werewolf, I know you're among the new subscribers. You already know my face. It's about time you show yours. Something incredible happened to me today, Pansy. I think this will only bring me good news. Private number. Who could it be? Here you can take a peek at me. Yeah, sexy, why not? I feel my body heat rising just from talking to you. That makes two of us. If you want more, open what I just sent to you. Just as you asked during the interview, he sent photos? I need to see them right now! Well, you don't even know he's the real one. You see the picture? This brings me exciting memories of the party. My werewolf has a great body! What? Just the body? Not the face? He sent several half pictures! If I put them together, I can form part of his face. I want to see you today. 8 p.m. at Menage. Very well, werewolf. Is this the real one? Thank you everyone for watching. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And see you guys on our next journeys.